What happened? <laughs> Ranger Nation, what's up? Oh my gosh, what a crazy, crazy weekend we had. What is up? Welcome to the video today. I'm going to be going over the things that happened in New York Toy Fair. I'm breaking up into three videos. We're going to talk about the Lightning Collection and Hasbro pulls. All the stuff that has to do with that. And then we're going to talk about Beast Morphers, the toys we saw, the new things we learned, everything about Beast Morphers that we learned at New York Toy Fair. And we're going to give away a third video, and that is going to be talking about the Power Rangers Live and all the glorious stuff we found out about the comics. But this is video one, guys, so welcome to talking about the Lightning Collection. These videos are going to be my attempts of wrapping up the over six and a half hours of footage that I put out between Friday and Saturday. I did a four and a half hour live stream on Saturday with Toku Chris, formerly of Toku Nation, and it was just an absolute blast. We did it during the Hasbro presentation and all of this stuff. We basically stayed live for you guys so anything the moment it dropped we got out to you according to pictures and everything and if you hear screaming my husband is live streaming in the other room i'll throw a link to him below he likes to kill undead things but most of you don't really have six and a half plus hours of your life to dedicate to watching all these past live streams so guess what guys here comes these videos and this is video one let's get talking about the hasbro lightning collection Things were first put up for us on Hasbro Pulse. I'm going to start with that. What is Hasbro Pulse, you say? Hasbro Pulse is the new Hasbro toy store. It's going to be the place that could potentially be carrying exclusive items from Hasbro or where you can pre-order Hasbro items. As of right now, they're doing a free shipping promotion if you order anything. I personally pre-ordered my Tyler Navarro Red Dino Charge Ranger action figure from action figure figure whatever i ordered it from hasbro pulse because if you order something between now and february 23rd you get enrolled for free in hasbro pulse premium what is that you say and by the way real quick not sponsored at all just i'm telling you all of this for because i think it's a really good thing and a really good deal not affiliated at all with hasbro pulse although i am open to the idea hasbro pulse if you has if you get enrolled in it and you do the hasbro pulse premium you're going to be getting free ground shipping for all of 2019 or they're calling it the 2019 calendar year so i'm guessing until what you know de december 31st but you're going to be getting free ground shipping on it. And if they're going to be able to be putting up these Power Ranger items and you don't want to have to worry about going to the store, if you don't want to have to worry about trying to find them from point A to point B, if they put them up, go get them purchased. You get free ground shipping for them. Also, they're going to be doing flash sales and monthly discounts. If you are a Pulse Premium person, according to what I've learned, this is for people who do like had similar things. They'll say, hey, maybe uh, Red Dino Charge Ranger, maybe he wasn't selling as good at the all of them. Maybe they'll be like, hey, we're going to toss him on sale instead of $20. He's going to be on sale for only $10 for four hours. But you have to be a Pulse Premium member in order to get it. And hey, right now it's free. After the 23rd, it's going to be a $50 a month fee. And if, if you're a really big toy collector, I mean, it's like, uh, paying for Amazon Prime. If you're going to order a lot of stuff from Amazon, you might as well get Prime because you're going to pay. It's, you're going to cover all of that shipping up front. Probably going to be the same for Hasbro Pulse. So you're going to get the free shipping for all year. You're going to get discounts and mo the monthly discounts, flash sales. And if any of y'all used to be Steam gamers, remember when Steam used to have flash sales in the summer sales and they were good? Do you remember the summer? No, that's just me being better. Fine. We're just going to get away from the gaming aspect because screw you, Steam summer sales. You suck now. Ugh. Anyway, we're going to go back. If you get Pulse Premium, you will also get a benefit that has, uh, it's a little vague, but it says other perks throughout the year at select conventions. Now, this is perhaps wishful thinking, but in a lot of places like San Diego Comic Con, really big Comic Cons, the Hasbro booth, the exclusive, the things people want, they're going to be lined up all day and all night, and you don't even know if you're going to be able to get one of those convention exclusives. Perhaps this could be your ticket to early entry, or maybe a guaranteed line, maybe just a Hasbro Pulse gets a line and then everybody else gets a line. Who knows what it's going to be? Maybe you'll get extra interviews. I have no idea, but I am certainly excited for it and it was well worth my pre-order of something that I was going to buy anyway in order to get into it and I highly recommend you do as well but the main point of this video why you guys wanted to watch it is because you wanted to learn about the lightning line 
Oh, yes, my friends. I uh, record the Ranger Week interview on Thursdays. This isn't a really big secret. Late, 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 late Thursday night, we got our first looks at the Lightning Collection. They were leaked. They were posted by a toy store and then found by Toku Nation, of course. Thank you very much. We then got to see amazing things like the packaging, which is gorgeous. I would not have thought to save the packaging on something like this until you see the amazing artwork on it. And then you go, yeah, actually, I'm probably going to put them sideways book style. And there you go. Now I have a background to my display because I think the artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. So when we got the box artwork, we found out a lot more about what was going to be coming with all of these. Lord Zed does not have an alternate head. I, I mean, if they did, it would have had to been, what, like, Countdown to Destruction and then weird human head on skinless body. I understand why they left that one out. He is going to be coming with his staff, though, and a fire effect on it, as well as a growth orb as a nice little treat with that. Shadow Ranger, he is coming with an alternate doggy Kruger head. How hyped are you to actually be getting a figure... It's gonna have Doggy Kruger's head. And guys, I know I'm not gonna be able to show you all the pictures of these figures, so check out the links below so you can see all of them, as well as I will have links to pre-order all of them. We'll talk about pre-orders in a little bit. Shadow Ranger, again, is coming with the Doggy Kruger head, an SPD badge, his sword. Again, a flame effect. It's looking absolutely beautiful. How happy am I? Shadow Ranger, Doggy Krieger, is getting a swappable head. We also got the picture for Dino Charge Red. As I said before, it's got Tyler Navarro's head. Comes with the sword, comes with his morpher, comes with an effect. Absolutely beautiful. If you zoom in on the suit itself, the way the material is cut, the plastic or how it's molded, looks like that effect on the suits. It really does look beautiful. And the last one we get, of course, is Tommy Oliver, Mighty Morphin White. Comes with Saba, an alternate head, and an effect for Saba. We also got to look at a new figure we didn't know was even happening, and it will be the GameStop exclusive Goldar. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, there were some lighting issues. At first, people were like, wait, is this maybe not as good in real life as it is in the pictures? Ranger Command Power Hour. Check them out. Ranger Command Power Hour. Toku Nation and Power Rangers Now. Hassan and Collector Shuki. Thank you all so much for your amazing coverage that you gave us over the course of New York Toy Fair. Ranger Command Power Hour immediately took pictures and said, no guys, this thing is gorgeous in real life. We're showing it to you. It was just the lighting of a picture. Do not worry about it. Goldar looks absolutely great. He's going to be, again, a GameStop exclusive, $22.99. Most of the figures are going to be $19.99. Normal retail price, price maybe a little more or less, uh, probably not less, maybe a little more, depending on where you want to get them from. Uh, some places are having them listed for $22.99. But the only place you're going to be able to get Goldar is GameStop. Link below, of course, and get yours pre-ordered. He looks great. The wings move, guys. Seriously, check out the links to see pictures of this Goldar figure. It is freaking amazing. I can't wait to own this thing, which I actually need to get the pre-order finalized on that today. It's the only one I don't have pre-ordered yet. We also got our first look at Beast Morphers Red, the Lightning Collection version, who has the head of Rory Travis. Oh my gosh. Seeing it in real life, the, the really, the actors' likenesses that they're putting on these look so great. I can't wait to get all of them. I probably, if at all possible, will end up having the actor's head on them, which makes me wonder what they're going to do with the suit that has more than one actress, something like my name, Morphin Yellow, but we'll see as times come to pass. Actually, we will see very soon because we know about that, but due to an Amazon leak from our friends Power Ranger Talk, they saw a while back that we will be getting for Wave 2 of the Lightning Line, Beast Morphers Red, which has come to pass, also Beast Morphers Gold, which I'm very excited to see that. Won't want to show us that because they don't want to tell you who the Gold Ranger is going to be yet. Also, we found out that we should be getting Magna Defender from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy as well as Mighty Morphin Pink. Maybe that will answer our question, what happens whenever more than one actor or actress dons the suit? Because we also, we had Kat and we had Kimberly. We shall see, actually, by Wave 2, what they should be doing. Wave 1, by the way, is showing up for pre-order anywhere between April 21st and May 1st, depending on where you want to pre-order it from, and they are classified as the Spring Wave. Wave 2 is going to be the Fall Wave. We only know the date of Goldar, and that is October, I believe, maybe 25th, let's just say somewhere around there. Their pre-orders for Lightning Collections and GameStop are actually a month later than the ones on Hasbro Pulse, though. 
Hasbro Pulse is also saying things like early pre-orders. Who knows if it will be maybe a September or an October release for the fall figures. You know, but either way, I think we can all agree that these things look great. They're only $19.99 compared to the figures we are paying $20 for before. These things are beautiful. I can't wait to add them into my collection. I normally am not an action figure person, but at this point, it feels like having the character there with you, and that to me is is just going to be absolutely amazing. And I mentioned pre-orders, but I need to stress this, guys, before you leave this video, get on them if you want them. As of right now, Lord Zed is out of pre-order stock, not only at Target, but Hasbro Pulse, okay, the main website. As of right now, the only place that you can order Lord Zed by himself is Amazon and... GameStop. That was the other one. The only place you can even get Zed right now is GameStop and Amazon. Some places such as Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store don't have Zed listed by himself. They'll have him in a four pack if you want to just get all of them and you would rather just say I'm going to pick all four of them up from, you know, your normal pre-order place of choice. You got reward points, you have whatever. I mean, you do you. You order them from wherever you want to. But the only place if you want to get Zed by himself as of right now is GameStop or Amazon. As of when I'm recording this, which is Sunday night, Tommy has been flickering in and out of stock at Target. Keep an eye on him, because the case breakdown is going to be three Tommies, two Shadow Rangers, two Dino Charge Red Rangers, one Lord Zed. That's right, guys. In a case of eight, Lord Zed is only getting one. So if you want him, this is why his pre-sales are going very, very rapidly. If you want to get one and guarantee you get one, I should say, get in on the pre-order. Of course, I'm sure Target is going to get boxes of these and you're going to be able to go to the store and, you know, look and you'll see Shadow Ranger and you'll see Tommy and stuff on the shelf. But I'm telling you this, if they get a box of eight figures, a pig can only hold so much, guys. They open that box of eight and put it up, and that one Lord Zed goes, it may be a little bit before they restock it. Just saying, I don't want you guys to miss out on something like this. Maybe this sale goes crazy. Maybe they pre-sell and Hasbro realizes they need to do another run, and then they'll come out with more. You never know, a big corporation like this, toy sales, they'll do whatever they want with them, but I don't want you guys to miss any of them, so please, please, please get on the pre-order. And with that, we have talked about the Lightning Collection, and we have talked about Hasbro Pulse. I'm going to wrap this one up so I can start the next video. I'm going to start talking about everything we learned from Beast Morphers. And again, then we're going to talk about the live show and the comics. A whole bunch of content coming up for you this week, hopefully including the Power Rangers Beast Morphers trailer, which we have not gotten yet. So keep an eye on that. If you want to stay on top of everything that I do, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime I come out with a new video. Thank you so much for, guy for watching, guys. Wow, it's been a week, right? I can't believe huh? a week. It's only been a few days. It's been a long weekend. And I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I certainly have. And I'll see you at the next video. Rangel is out. Okay, Rangel is out. Boom.